Once you've opened up your app, you go to the device setting and you will start off with call alerts. This basically is an option for you to get call alerts on your tracker from your phone. So if your phone rings, your tracker will vibrate notifying you of a call. You can choose to put it on or off. That's on or off. You can also have a sedentary alert. Sedentary is for when you are seated for too long a period. The app will remind you to get up. You can set the time limit to 45 minutes, whatever you choose. Let's say you choose uh, 40, 45 minutes. You can then, every 45 minutes, your tracker will remind you to get up and walk around and you can change that at any given time. We have alarm alert. You can add alarms, you can have multiple alarms waking you up with a vibration on your tracker in the mornings. You have a SNS alert, which is your social networking alerts. You can choose to be notified when you receive all these messages. So Facebook, WeChat, QQ, Twitter, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, Instagram or Facebook Messenger. Whichever one you choose will then be notified on your device that you have received a WhatsApp. Then we have Take Photo. Take Photo is used if you wish to take a photo with your tracker. You can use it either by pushing the button or simply moving your wrist up. It will then activate your shutter button on your camera. You have to give access to your camera, say yes, and it will allow you to then take photos from your device. If you simply push the button or push the button on your, it will then take a picture. As you can see, we've just taken a picture of the desk here. Wrist sense. The wrist sense setting is done for when you look at your device, the time will be displayed. If you prefer not to have it, you can remove it and that will then keep off and stay off and you'll need to push the button to see the time. If you push the wrist sense on, it will then allow you to just simply bring up the device towards your face and the clock will be displayed for you. Anti-lost. Anti-lost is if you are connected to your tracker and you leave your phone on a table or at a meeting and you walk away from your phone, your tracker will notify you that you've left the proximity of your handset. Therefore, not allowing you to leave your phone at a place, it will remind you you have left your phone somewhere. Find my phone is similar. If you have left it somewhere in the house, it will then vibrate, waking your phone up, and you will be able to locate your phone if you have left it somewhere where you cannot find it. And the last one here on here on the alert is the SMS alert. Will basically send an SMS once you received it on your phone. It will then be displayed on your handset, on your tracker. Sorry. Then we have auto heart rate, which is mostly left on automatically. The tracker will automatically take your heart rate reading every five minutes. If you don't want that to happen, you can switch it to manual and we will only take your heart rate when you decide to take it. Night mode. Night mode is if you decide not to be notified with any alerts, you can have a start time. So let's say you want to from 10 o'clock in the evening and only want to be notified again at five o'clock in the morning. So between these two times, you will not be notified and get messages on your tracker. You can also on the uh, DoFit you can change the wearing way so you can have it on your left hand or your right hand and you can also have display mode you can have a landscape 180 degrees or a vertical display mode. This is purely your option depending on your preferences and then we have also the device upgrade. If there's ever an upgrade, you can upgrade the device firmware by the app. And that's basically the settings for your DoFit tracker.